Hey everybody, Rich Norton here with some more training for you. As I talked about earlier, we are gonna focus on cold calling and merchant services cold calling. This is something that people reach out to me all the time about, especially from our team. I supervise a couple hundred representatives all around the country. My background is cold calling. I go all the way back to 18 years old, selling encyclopedias door to door. Uh, pounding the pavement. I've been doing that successfully in this industry for many, many years. And the goal for you is to get to a point where you're not relying on anybody else. You are focusing on you. You control your own destiny. You're out there making it happen. You're making cold calls. So when we talk about cold calling, as we talked about in the prior video, mindset is a big thing. You cannot go out there thinking that you're bothering people. You can't go out there and apologize. Many people do that when they first walk into a business. They're apologizing. Hey, I know your time is valuable. Hey, I'm sorry to bother you. Hey, I know you're busy. Immediately, you're putting yourself lower than what that merchant is. So you're basically essentially saying that, hey, your time's more valuable than mine. Mine doesn't really matter. And if you go about that way, you're going to be treated that way. So keep in mind, your time is valuable. Every merchant that you encounter is very fortunate that you have stopped by. Now, we'll spend a lot of time talking about mindset because I know many of you are going to be saying, what do you say? What do you say? Well, it's not what you say. It's really how you approach. It's how you say it. So when you walk into a business, you have to be the most confident person there's got to be a sense of urgency. They're fortunate that you're stopping by and your whole thinking is, who are the lucky merchants that get to talk to me today? So when you're walking into that business, you have to be filled with confidence. You have to be happy-go-lucky. It's all about selling yourself. You're going to leave an impression. The question is, what kind of impression are you going to leave? So you have to be sincere, you have to be genuine, you have to be enthusiastic, you have to be real, you have to have good eye contact. If you're shaking hands, a firm handshake, you have to be enthusiastic, you have to be friendly. In other words, you have to be completely different from every other person that walks into that business giving a sales pitch. So no more pitching. We're going out there and we're meeting people and how lucky they are to get to know you. So before we get into what to say and everything else, we'll cover all that. I want you to get this mindset down. I want you to look in the mirror and say, you're awesome. You're going to have an amazing day. I want you to practice smiling. I want you to Get rid of filler words like um and ah. I want you to make sure that you have great eye contact and you're enthusiastic. So that's what we're gonna focus on. That's what we're gonna work on to the beginning part of this. And then we'll slowly go through this. I wanna spend time on helping you to become a master cold caller. You've got this. I'm here to help you in any way that I possibly can. And this applies to really any type of sales not just the merchant service industry. It applies to everything. When you're out there meeting people for the very first time, again, keep in mind, you're making an impression. What kind of impression are you going to leave? Make sure it's a good one. You're getting the people to like you. If they like you, they're going to listen to you. If they listen to you, they begin to trust you. This is what it's all about, trust. 